In a previous video, I went over how to create a graded assignment. And if you did not look at that, I strongly suggest that you exit out of this video and do so. This will show you how you get to this place and where we're at. So we went ahead and created a graded assignment. And now I'm going to show you how to create a graded comment assignment. There's three different options. And right here, submit a comment is the type that we're going to create here. So basically, once we click on it, it's going to ask us to choose one or create one. We're just going to go ahead and use one that we already have. You could go through the creation process. Again, that's in a different video, so I won't cover it here. Now, there's some differences here. You can add a description and, you know, you could add that there's one main post and two reply posts. And that is really super short. I would go into more depth than that. I, but I would not add a lot, a lot, a lot of description here because you should also have a rubric and that should be available to them before they create the assignment anyway. And so you could refer them back to the rubric here. You could just give them that it's one main and two reply. That is not a number that you have to use, but it's just an, a, a common version. And if that's the case, if you have one main post and two reply, reply posts, you would have that, that three comments are required here. That includes reply posts. All it's going to show you is how many total and you'll have to kind of use your own clicking on it and I'll show you the, the grade book view and um, after we create and we look at student view as well. Now you want to create assignment and share it with the class. You can decide if you want to moderate comments here and whether you want to allow students to resubmit the assignment. I very strongly suggest that you do not change this and um, I will go over some of the reasons for that in the, a different video on kind of the difference between graded and ungraded assignments. Okay, so when we create the assignment, it's, we'll just X out of it and we're going to go ahead and make it visible to students. And I'll go ahead and that way be able to show you what a student sees when they access this. Okay, so when they go to this voice thread grade, it will, they'll click on it. And they have an, an extra step that they don't have if it's an ungraded assignment, and that's to actually launch it. And once they do that, it'll go through that same process of launching the application. They'll also have something very different over here as far as they have the option to submit the assignment. And it's somewhat confusing because you could say submit when you haven't actually done anything over here. And so when a student goes into this, they can often be confused by, okay, well, I guess I have to submit, so I'll click here. Okay, well, they submitted, but they didn't actually do anything. That's one of the downsides, so to speak, of doing this. And so they would have to launch it again and come back in. Generally, it's just a learning curve that happens once, but we know that any source of confusion can create a lot of time for us. So it's just, just something to keep in mind and have clear directions in your classes for. So a student creates their main comment and then they create replies and they have, and then they have to submit the assignment. Or when you look at your end of things and you click on this thread now that you've created it, it's going to take you into a grading view. Rather than to the voice thread, it's going to take you to grading view as the default way that it gets you into this. So you'll see that there's one student in the class and it's saying that they've submitted. And if we click on that, I had already had some comments for this student in there. And so this test student has made a number of comments and you can play those and it'll take you to wherever each one of those are. And you can just use your own judgment to see, okay, well, that's that's square, so it's a, a main comment. That's a, a threaded reply, so it's a circle, and it's attached to something. And then you can, up here, assign a grade. And we have now graded that. So we also have access to the voice thread. If we want to reply to that student, we could right here from grading. All right, now that we have submitted a grade, we can also X out of it and go into the grade book and go to VoiceThread graded, you'll see if you click there, it launches the application into the grading window. So if you have your main view of list, and you click this, it's gonna take you into the grading of it. If you wanna see what the students actually got, you'll have to look in the kind of the Excel type view, is that's how I think of it anyway. And you'll see 
that that grade that I gave them is now posted. So it links successfully to the grade book. So this is an overview on how you create a graded comment assignment. In other videos, I'll go over the other two.